Hi everyone, my name is Victor, so we're back on this little Ekan thing and this song you started, I really like it. It's like I think that oh, I think the best part is starting right now. It's starting to jam. It's starting to jam. Come on, jamming. This is my mini guitar. So thank you very much. So yeah, we're gonna continue this egg hunt thing, and I'm just talking about the world. Oh yes. Um, we in the last uh, little episode video got help from. Uh, a little dude. Oh yes, we did. He helped us find an egg. And we found the egg. We did. We found the egg we did. Um, by the way, these two videos aren't related at all, so it doesn't matter if you have seen it or not. They just happen to both involve the egg hunt. I'm not even... Nah, I'm not gonna do a playlist out of them. gonna be confusing and not worth the effort, I think. I'm just gonna number them and name them part one, part two, or something like that. For the continuation of the egg hunt, we found an egg. 14 eggs out of 25, there's not many left. Okay, so we basically took a long stroll around the harbor, the beach. As you get a lifeguard here at the beach. What do you mean bathtub? The beach. This is a bathtub. Oh yes, that's the TikTok. I like the TikToks. I get the TikTok too. It's called Victory Talk. This is it. Watch it. Uh, I'm not a brilliant TikToker yet. Always leave room for self-improvement. I'm gonna win that as well because I'm the victory man. I win everything I do. Uh, I never lost anything. Promise. And if you if you, if you think you see me lose something. Sorry, I hate to tell you, but you're delusional. It just doesn't happen. You just need to listen to the facts, and I bring the correct facts. <laughs> you can't trust anything you see and hear on the internet. This is the truth. All the other things made up, I promise you. I promise you. Can we? Oh no, there's no egg here. I was expecting an egg, but you didn't deliver one to me. So this place seems really suspicious up here. I think it's I think it is an egg place. Oh, oh this sounds like Toy Story music for some reason. Oh, I found an egg. It was an egg place. My intuition was right. That means that um, I was correct about the fact before that I had never lost anything ever because I'm the victory man and I don't lose. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's the way it is. 15 out of 25. How hard can it be to find them all? Thank Frithi for free XP. Uh, okay, I don't know what that's about. But I think this music is jamming. This is jamming. Oh, is that the whole. So, right. I don't know when you're watching this, if you're watching this uh, when this is freshly uploaded in 2020 and uh, uh, this channel is a small channel or if you're looking this at this like 10 years from now and uh, this is the biggest YouTube channel on earth uh, after YouTube uh, have uh, went into bankruptcy and disappeared but it's still the biggest YouTube channel on earth. Oh yeah, because you all know that's gonna happen, right? Because the Victory Man, I mean, it's an obvious option for the biggest YouTube channel there is. How can you have a YouTube, big, biggest YouTube channel and not have it driven by the Victory Man? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. So that's why I know it's gonna happen. So, it doesn't really matter if you watch this now while recording this, when the channel is having its all small humble beginnings. Or when it succeeded even the biggest other competitors out there, and being bigger than anything else. Then just remember, being humble will take you a long way. 
Yeah, it will. Uh, actually, this thing that I... I really like philosophy. I've studied a lot. I read about uh, both philosophy, philosophy and psychology and... Uh, I read biographies. I read about, read about uh, different people's perspective on life. And there's only one real collusion about celebrity you can come to. And it's that people find it have some utility. Some people uh, get dependent on it, like like they're on the drug, and that's not good for them. They get kind of crazy out of being out of fame. Um, and that's because it's kind of. Uh, oh. Kind of because it's the difference between celebrity and the recognition uh, for what you do, and I think people are better off. I think celebrity without uh, fame of quality work, those people get the most mad because they only feed off this cycle of being a name. If that's hurt, they uh, they get dragged down by it. And there's those people who succeed by being is really really good at something. Uh, and then there's best is the combination. I think I think the real celebrities should probably maybe only gather around people who are good at things. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm gonna give you a weird, weird example here. Um, I think it's called. I think it's I think it's fame I'm talking about. I think that's um, or no I'm t maybe talking about reputation. Oh yeah, or good reputation. You get a bad reputation. So we, let's call it fame. I don't know. But I'm studying like programming language, and there's this guy who, who developed the C language, the C plus plus language. It's, it's called Bjarne Sturup. And it's been there from the beginning and developed the C++ language, which, which is hugely important for all the programming uh, big services around the world. And uh, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but he's a perfect example for, about what I'm talking about when I talk about fame. He's just really good at what he's doing and what he does has only value. But he himself is not really a celebrity. He is has fame for what he has done because it is good, okay? I think that that's the best part of it. It's like being an author and nobody knows. It's like being a famous author, but you're the anonymous author. Like no one knows who he is and you're only valued for your work being so good. Uh, I know I th things like that people really... I think that's the good, best quality of uh, being known. Because um, then you really feel loved for what you do, right? Uh, it's more, even more than that. What you do makes matters in the world and has helped people and is useful. Um, instead of celebrity, which doesn't have to involve anything of that. Um, I'm gonna jump over here. Oh, it's yeah, it. Yeah, rippity. So yeah, what is selfie area? Tweet us a selfie at Cubecraft. Uh, uh, hello, game selfie. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there, Mr. Cubecraft. Are you gonna, you gonna fight me? You gonna fight me? Oh yes. Um. So, I think the thing people should strive for, if it's about being known, it's more like the uh, be honest thing than like nothing against the Kardashians but they're more like famous because of the fame itself and that's not as helpful I think as uh, uh, being known like Bjarne Sturup I would kind of prefer the last one you, you kind of want to be known because you create good stuff not because you're famous 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 I don't know um, uh, so I don't think that's 
So that, that's why uh, famous scientists are so interesting, because they are typically people who are not that good at being social or having like big PR firms and those things. So if they're getting famous, it's because they came up with something really, really valuable. Uh, and I like that concept much more than people just being famous for famous sake. I don't know what I'm blamoring about. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but anyway, I, yeah, it's more like I think that's the goal for it. So uh, things I yeah I remember now because I was talking in the first part when I found the first twelve eggs, thirteen. Wait, no, is there a window down there? Can you get down? Okay, no. Uh, I was uh, talking about that. It's much better to do a YouTube channel with the motivation of sharing something you love doing. And knowing how to do it, then just starting uh, out with the idea of I'm gonna get famous, that's what I'm doing, and if I don't get famous, it's not gonna be worth anything I've done. Uh, the last one is not as good for you. If you're in that category, you, uh, uh, doing YouTube or podcast or anything, I think you should rethink what you're doing. I honestly think. But if you're in the other category, I just wish you well. Um, if other people like it, and you're doing good quality work out of it, it's gonna blow up by itself, and people are gonna see that you love doing it, right? That just makes a whole of a lot of sense. So, having talked about that point, just let me grab some delicious water. Ah, I'm actually thinking of starting to ask people where these freaking eggs are. I'm gonna look more at that DNA spiral. It seems like a good place to look. So I'm gonna backtrack a bit. Um, oh yes. So, as mentioned before, my main motivation is that I wanted an excuse to just be talking. Talking, 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 talking in English. Because I want to become better at it. And I want to be better at presenting. And I want to be better at communicating. And those things. And jump up here. Now I'm jumping up on another place. That's okay. Uh, hey, Joe Lumati. Hey, how are you? Hey. Hey there. Hey. No egg here. I think this is gonna be a huge possibility for an egg being hidden like here in one of these side things. Or on top of it. I wonder if you can get reached the top. I don't know. Wham. Yeah, so that's the main point. I'm gonna become better at that. But I realized that if I do this enough, I'm gonna start thinking about how can I provide you who watch this with more value. Just being useful and creating value. I think that's what you should be doing in life. Uh, provide value for other people. Because that's sound uh, like a cliche saying it, but that's such a useful state of being, providing pro providing value and usefulness to, to others. Uh, I would assume that in a YouTube environment, uh, or like a video environment like this, the value would either be from entertainment, or uh, well-presented information, like knowledge. Knowledge, you know the knowledge meme? Knowledge, it's all about knowledge. I have a Cadillac out here, I have a Ferrari, I have a Lamborghini, but it's not about that, it's about knowledge. Um, so I think in this sense it would be what the value comes from is entertainment or, uh, as I said, knowledge. So probably, when I feel like I've been talking a lot and I Feel I can do it on a flow, like on a go, like a no-flow go. <laughs> I would probably just wanna uh, do more of it, you know, in a way, um, and then probably see if I can write some more knowledge in some way. I like doing, it, you know. Where is egg? Egg is. Uh, 
somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. So, by the way, so I think that's a good thing as well to think of. If, uh, you don't even have to have a YouTube channel for that. But being part of helping someone else finding good information, just, just share it with that person. Because. I think everyone. Oh no, I just tried to get up there. Okay. I think that means I should change my speaking subject as well. Hmm. Yeah. I do have a feeling there should be an egg up there. I think the, the problem here is that I've taken all the easy eggs. And then when you take in all the easy eggs, there is no more egg to be found. Okay. Is there a way to show the chunks in Minecraft? I'm just curious. You gotta agree one thing. The Minecraft villager sound is the best thinking sound there is. You like... What should I do now? Where is this? And then you go like, huh, huh, huh. That's what you do. So next time you don't find your keys, just got your head and say, huh. And uh, people will know that you're looking for keys. I really like the sound of the Minecraft dudes, the villagers. This place looks suspicious. There'll be an egg around here. No. Okay, I can't jump up there. Okay. Looked suspicious, wasn't suspicious. We're gonna have a look. Maybe it's time to just run around with a different perspective. So I'm gonna try this one. This gives you the ability to kind of look around corners. Um, not perfect, I agree. But we have to try another point of view if the first one had, hadn't succeeded. So this is quite a good search way. Oh, the world is not loading. Oh, are they serious? Have they built things down into the earth? That's kind of cool. See there? They didn't just build it on top of the dirt. They like build the shape of the carrot down into the earth. I like that detail. Uh, oh, is there something up there? No, it's... Oh, I... That's the one I... Already taken. Why are you purply heartily? I don't know. You know, I think the give, big giveaways of this time that people should think about is sharing um, uh, hope with each other during these corona times. You should only help other people financially if you afford it yourself right now. Uh, there's no idea, uh, there's no point in bringing yourself to a bankruptcy for helping someone else. I mean like, two drowned people isn't an improvement over one, if you know what I mean. Um, but there's something you actually can help each other with no matter what, and that is um, giving yourself each other some social support by just calling them, talking to them, saying, how are you? Those things really mean a lot to people. Uh, they mean a lot to me, they mean a lot to you, and there's people around us to whom that would mean even more than to me and you. So that's just a great gift in the time of social isolation. And um, I mean, not that maybe everyone doesn't have a Minecraft account they can go play on or things like that. I realized that <gasps> I found it. I found an egg. I'm so happy. Oh, an egg. Okay, this view was quite good in uh, finding eggs. I'm gonna continue doing this camera view running through the places where I think I have been before but haven't looked enough until you were 
Can we go through here? I think we can. I think we can. I think this is kind of fun because you're thinking about what would be a good uh, search. Now I'm being a bit nerdy here, but what would be a good search algorithm to be using looking around here? Do you know that finding things are really easy? You just have to look and uh, try to not look at the same place more than once. Uh, I wouldn't say easy, it's more like it's very simple. Uh, simple and hard. But those things aren't opposites of each other, actually. I think things can be simple and hard at the same time. Sim simplicity is more connected towards uh, uh, level of complexity, while easy and hard is on another scale of more like how hard that is. So there are really simple stuff that could be really hard, and there are really complex stuff that could be really easy. Um, to give you a very dumb dumbed down example is that controlling your breathing is very easy but the maneuver is really extremely complex there's a lot of things that need to be taken care of by the body to get the breathing working uh, optimally and in a good way uh, coordination of all the muscles uh, the right rhythm for the breathing uh, adapting the rhythm towards how much oxygen is needed in the in the body, being able to measure how much oxygen is needed, when it's low and when, when it's high, uh, how to coordinate this with uh, uh, the lungs and the movement of different muscles. So it's a really complex operation, but it's really simple because it's built into us. And things that are really Simple, uh, but hard. I would include uh, uh, some mathematics, and uh, there are some really simple mathematics that some people find extremely hard, and there are some uh, simple mathematics that all uh, mathematics mathematicians feel really, really hard. So I would say uh, that some, if you, do what, if you know what a mathematical matrix is, uh, it's like numbers in a square. And doing operations of those is, um, it's uh, actually really simple. There's very few rules controlling matrix, matrices, but it's like more than a 3x3, three three. most mathematicians will say, oh, that's hard, too hard to do, I wanna, don't want to do that. I mean, even mathematicians say that you don't have to be from another place. That's a small example. I guess it's an even better example. Oh, that's probably taken, right? Yeah. Egg, 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 egg. I don't want to give up on that spiral just yet. I think there's something to it. I know there's a... Uh, hmm. I know there's a, a loop fall thing. It's like a dropper. I think that place might have an egg if you get to it in the right place. So let's just get... Trying to get back to the beginning of the lobby. I think I find it better from there. Uh, I realized they just ran in a big eight circle. Round came... Oh, why am I so confused? Lead me back to the point. Oh my god, run around, run around, run around, run around this place. I have a feeling that there should be some more... Um, carrots with eggs on them. I really do. Okay, right. Well, can't can't I get in here? Is it totally destroyed? Do I have to reboot the server? You know what? We're gonna try a uh, try a different lobby. Lobby one. 
you very much. Let's just hope the eggs are synced over the lobby, and they seem to be. I see an egg up there, right? Oh yes, I do. I'm gonna find an egg now. I got you now, eggy. So the question is how to get them. I don't think this is the answer. Do you have to drop down to get that thing? Okay, so how does this work? How does this work? Does it work like this? No, it does not. How does you work? How do we get on top of that thing? I wonder if there's anyone who got all the 25 eggs. There probably is. There's people. <gasps> an egg, an egg, an egg. Thank you very much. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. But is there a way to get... Um... Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this situation. Uh, so how would you get up there? So there is an egg and I'm pretty sure of it. One way to be would be to get on top and then fall down, right? And then take it in the air. And uh, by the way, is there? I have a feeling there should be an egg up there. <gasps> I see an egg. Let's take that before anything else, because why not? Rip for what? Oh, I think that is... Uh, what is this called? Dutch? I think it is. I think it is. My, well, you may correct me if I'm wrong. And if it's not Dutch, I... I, ex I, I excuse myself. I even recuse myself. Hey! Got an elytra. Ain't that cheating? I just hope you can get all the eggs without the elytra because I don't got the elytra. I'm just a normal. I'm just a normal dude around. Hey, that's not fair. If you have that thing, it would be really simple to get all the eggs. So, do I have an elytra? No, I don't have an elytra. How did you get this elytra? Why don't I have an elytra? Maybe I have to deserve my elytra. <sighs> That's tough. But it's also how it should be, so I'm not a big complainer for that one. Oh, stupid. I got it. We got it. So we got 19 eggs. I know where a 20th egg is. I don't know where the 21st egg is. Is it possible to get up on the... Yeah, of course it is. I've been on it more than once. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Beat juice, you're very mature. You're very mature. Audio. No idea what those people are talking about. Last chat was much better. Get up here. Get up on the ladder. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get up on that uh, carrot thing for the last time. Jump on. Arrgh. Uh, parkour in Minecraft, especially on lag. Okay, this, this lobby is too laggy. It lags. Uh, lobby 4, 19 people. That should be good enough. Oh, less lag. Much better. Uh, let's not do that thing. Too complicated of a maneuver. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah.
Oh, it's like that thing. Uh, what is it? what's that game called? It's called. Uh... It's called Sexy Hiker. Uh, where you're a guy in a boat doing things. Oh my god, I can't handle this. This is too frustrating. Come on, now, let's succeed. I don't even know if the parkour is enjoyable to watch. Oh, so simple. So simple indeed. So while when you're up here, the maneuvers are pretty simple actually. It's like up, up, down, up, down. Up here. Up on the tree. Yeah. And then, okay. I'm gonna give this one try. One try. Ah, because there's a too long way up here. So I'm gonna aim for that glass thing there. Oh, that was the one try I was gonna give it. Yes, that was it. Okay, maybe not. I could, I could give it another try. Because why not? We're all friends here, aren't we? Come, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe it's not even necessary. Yeah, it is. It is necessary. Okay. No, that wasn't even close. Goodbye. So I was thinking, um, it feels like there should be an egg around here. And I don't think I got one in the last uh, interlude, so uh, maybe it's like... Yeah, I don't think you can jump up on that thing, that's just too far away. Hmm. Okay, so let's have a look along this uh, thing here. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we already got that one. Okay, right. Let's do this. Okay, that's not possible. Then we know. Okay, it just feels like this, this is a place where you can get up. No use of this. No use of this. Would just be so fun to find a, a 20th egg? Because um, obviously... Uh, actually, I have found the 20th egg. I just don't know how to get it. So it would be this thing up here. You can see it, right? Yeah, it's there. Okay, let's have a look at how to get up there. So I think you would have to come from a really strange angle to even reach it. Oh. Uh, don't let us bother. Do it, do it. Know a lot of things. Yes, you do. Come on here, Mr. Woody Randolph. Oh, I forgot. Got a new angle. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna find that dropper thingy. Yes, we are. This is very hard, by the way, to coordinate in this camera mode. I feel like it feels like I'm gonna fall down all the time, but I think it's worth it because we get this better view. Ah, no eggs around, no eggs around. Continue going. We're reaching the point where going along here is starting to become nervous, so I'm gonna get into this mode. I'm gonna jump up and try not to fall down. Let's see where we go. Ah. Isn't it 
this one that leads to... Daisy. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yeah. Maybe we... Hmm, isn't it right there I found the other one? We might be able to do this. Pop. Oof. Is it just me or do you, does it, do you even feel the falling sensation in your body when you do that? Damn. That's how you know we played too much Minecraft. Can I... got the 20th egg this round and that makes me so happy so happy indeed and actually uh, it's kind of late and I need to go to bed because sleep is important do you sleep at least seven hours a night you should at least seven hours a night do it and sleep reg reg regularly and I'll try to get to sleep at the same time every day Monday through Sunday and your life is gonna be much better in the end so, on those words, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Oh, I did that again. <laughs>